Alright, this is the trigger replacement on the Xbox 360 controller. As you can see, it's clearly cracked. This would be the right trigger. I don't know how I did that, but it's broken. So, here we go. Gonna need a uh, T10 or T8 hex head bit. You're gonna take out seven screws from the back of the controller showing them here the seventh one is hidden underneath the barcode uh, you'd have to remove the battery pack uh, just go ahead and use your screwdriver and uh, just poke through the uh, barcode there and you'll feel the screw go ahead and take that out there's the screw go ahead and pop that off and you should have seven screws removed with those seven screws removed you should be able to pull apart the controller mm -hmm. you'll see that here now it's the same as a different code alright so we've exposed the the board you'll see the uh, trigger there is in pieces get rid of the spring and the actual plastic now we need to get the uh, the motors disconnected and pull the uh, control board out alright so this entire trigger assembly is going to have to come off in order to replace the trigger it's all one piece pain in the ass can you say uh, well I wonder if I can say that on YouTube I think I can alright so this is a replacement piece I just stole it from another controller I had I had a couple you know so I just opened it up and took it off of a non-working controller I'm going to put it in this one try to save myself 50 bucks here you've got a couple of tabs that you have to release and also there's three solder joints that need to be uh, you'll need to apply heat to that in order to release the assembly from the control board so we'll go ahead and pry up the uh, tabs from the from the board there that popped. that's one tab there's a second one all right so you're gonna apply heat with the soldering iron to those three solder joints that'll allow you to release the assembly from the board bad camera angle here you're not really going to be able to see it but uh, I apply heat there that melts or liquefies the soldering resin and you'll be able to pull the uh, pressure sensor out in this case it's broken and should all be one piece but I kind of broke that one so here we go, we're gonna get ready to put the replacement on. There's the three electrical connections that you'll need to re-solder. It's all one piece. So you'll just put it on, snap it in place with the uh, two clips. And then you'll need to re-solder the electrical joints, the soldering joints. As you can see when I apply heat, it actually goes in, gets closer to the board. And what you didn't see was me applying more soldering solution, resin, core, people call it different things. Alright, so 
the assemblies back on with a new controller or new uh, button there we'll go ahead and put it back together reconnect the vibrator motors struggling there all right and there you go got a new trigger save myself 50 bucks thanks for watching